Good evening. Local leaders are once again recognizing Confederate soldiers, but not everyone's on board. Yeah, Brazos County Commissioners this week signed a proclamation declaring April as Confederate History and Heritage Month. Month. They say it's important to recognize Confederate soldiers who gave their lives in the line of duty. Yeah, but one opponent says it's taken a step backwards. Ian Smith has both sides. Each year, hundreds turn out to celebrate a reenactment of the Civil War. And for many, a big part of the event is support of the Confederate soldiers, many with local ties. Brazos County had a good many uh, people who fought in, in the Civil War. P probably some maybe that fought for the North maybe, and, and I know there were a lot that fought in the South. That's why on Tuesday, the Brazos County Commissioners signed a proclamation naming April as Confederate History and Heritage Month. My first reaction is how unfortunate in 2016. It's something Professor um, Gwendolyn Webb Hassan can't, can't support. The first thing that comes to her mind is slavery. For us to want to celebrate uh, a horrible atrocity in our history as it relates to the Civil War and slavery, and to sometimes do that through the celebration of Confederate History Month, I just think that that's a sad testimony to 2016. The proclamation does, however, speak out against slavery. Slavery was certainly a, uh, a bad reason to, to have to fight a full war over him, but that wasn't the only reason, and we condemn slavery in the resolution. Regardless, Webb Hassan says Confederate History Month divides people and stands in the way of progress. If we're going to talk about it, we got to talk about the whole story, the whole story, and not just a piece of it. In Brazos County, Ian Smith, KX, HD News. Now, the recognition of the Confederacy in Brazos County dates back more than 100 years with Confederate Memorial Day. This Friday through Sunday, members of the Sons of Confederate Veterans Organization will host a Civil War History Weekend at Veterans Park.